A simple way to start understanding your users is by checking the most common actions they do in your product. Here's how to do it in Amplitude. First, create a new event segmentation chart. If you have access to multiple projects, make sure you're in the right project. In the Events module, choose Top Global Events. Top Global Events is an event generated by default by Amplitude. It will show you the top 10 active events by event volume for all users at the time of query over the selected time period. By default, event segmentation shows you unique users who do a specified event on the y-axis over the past 30 days, broken down by day on the x-axis. And every curve on the chart represents one of my top events. If you're just trying to get a sense of the top actions your users perform, it's not necessary to see this data as a trend line over time, so let's convert this to a bar graph visualization. Here, you're looking at the aggregate number of unique users over the last 30 days who did each of the top actions in your product. And remember, these top actions are by event volume. If you toggle the metrics module to event totals, you'll see the total event volume for each of the top 10 events over the last 30 days. If you're not interested in all of these events, you can simplify your chart by hiding certain events either on the chart directly or using the breakdown table. You can also see the values of what you're measuring in the breakdown table below. In this case, since we changed the metrics module to show event totals, the table shows the number of times each of these events was triggered over the specified time period. In addition to uniques and event totals, you can also take a look at the other measurements of the metrics module to inform your understanding of user behavior in your product. For example, if I toggle to active percent and adjust my time period to 60 days, this shows me what percentage of my active users did my top 10 events over the last 60 days. So what's next? Let's say I'm interested in the fact that 75% of my active users browse for an item in the last 60 days. I could continue exploring user behavior by saving this cohort of users to use in another analysis or view what actions they do next. I can also think about how these top actions relate to my product's critical event or critical paths. For more resources on how to use Amplitude, check out the Amplitude Help Center and community.